Hello, everyone. Welcome to an episode of Dive Soft TV. I'm your host, Joe Bosques. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over our Dive Soft Analyzer, and I'm going to be doing a three point calibration. What is a three point calibration, and when is it necessary? So typically, you have a single point calibration, and that is done with air, which I have right here, which the oxygen concentration is 21%. It's actually a little bit less than 21%, but we round up for this. And so when we calibrate, we tell the analyzer to calibrate at 21%. Two point calibration is with a 21% air mix, and then we have a 100% oxygen mix. Now. This is important because we have our single point of oxygen calibration, and then we have our single point of 100% uh, oxygen. So we have 21% and 100%, so we can make that slope. So the analyzer knows what is the millivoltage between the two. And then we have our third point calibration. Our th the reason why you do a three point calibration is that it is done with a hypoxic mix. So if you're utilizing mixes below 16% oxygen, it's good to do a three point calibration and you want to use a mix that does not have any oxygen. So you can typically use 100% helium or you can use 100% argon. And for this case, we have a 100% helium mix um, for our calibration purposes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get started. So. We have our analyzer going. You hear the clicking, that's the helium sensor clicking. And the next first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click calibrate. And at this screen, you're gonna have the one point cal, two point cal, and three point cal. So for our first point calibration, you can see my hoses are color coded so I don't get them mixed. So I'm going to go down to three point calibration. I'm going to click okay. 21% is gonna be with air. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up the cylinder. I'm gonna have the gas flowing already. So it's gonna flow through the tubes. It's gonna go through the labyrinth and to the oxygen sensor. I click okay. So now what we are waiting for is for a stable reading. You can see here, I have 11.8 millivolts at a stable temperature and the ambient pressure is stable as well. Okay, so then I click okay. Point two is going to be a hundred percent oxygen. Now I go ahead, remove the air connection, and then I'm going to have the hundred percent plugged in. I'm going to go ahead, open that up. So now the hundred percent oxygen is flowing through the, the tube and through the system, and it's going to. I'm going to click OK, so we can see our millivolts are already moving up. So we're waiting until we have a stable reading on our oxygen sensor. You can see where once we are stable, I'm going to click OK. Now we're looking for our third point of our three point calibration. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove the oxygen and then I'm going to plug in the hypoxic gas, which in this case, it's gonna be 100% helium. So I'm gonna make sure, and then I'm gonna open up the valve, and I'm gonna click OK. And we can see that the millivoltage on the oxygen sensor is dropping. If it does not drop immediately, that's typically because the gas is simply being pushed through the system and it takes a moment for it to feed through. Now we wanna wait until we have a stable reading and we're gonna see the millivolts drop quite low. And it's gonna to continue to go as the helium is blowing the, uh, blowing the oxygen molecules away from the sensor. And then I click OK. Now we can see that we have our reading. I'm gonna go ahead, close my helium. And then what's good practice to also do is to take my air bottle and basically flush the system by blowing air through the analyzer. And once it gets through and then I get a good reading, then I would have done a three point calibration. 
And if you guys have any other questions about our analyzers, please look to our social media, look to our, our YouTube videos, our Facebook videos, and be sure to send us a message if you have any questions. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.